everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the beta CM9 Science Mod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. I do have a video showing you how to install the Alpha one, but uh, the method is a little different, so I'm going to go ahead and do another video now for the beta version. Uh, a lot more is working now, well, a little bit more, but everything is pretty much working now. You got camera working now. So anyways, to install, first you're going to need to make sure you do have Clockwork Mod. You're actually going to need to have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7. Uh, go into your Clockwork Mod recovery and see what version you have. If you don't have 5.0.2.7, you will need it. Uh, the download to it can be right here to be flashed through Fastboot. If you need to know how to do that, just click this link right here where it says, look, a video. I do have a video showing you how to install uh, a recovery through Fastboot uh, and just use that 5.0.2.7 file, Clockwork Mod file, to be flashed through Fastboot. Anyways, once you do have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, you will need to uh, scroll down. You're going to need to download two files, actually. You're going to need to download the ROM itself. So click on this link right here. It'll actually take you to this website. So let's click on it. It will take you to this website. You got two options right here, a 2D and non-2D. Use the 2D version. Um, so definitely download the 2D version. Also, you're going to need to download the G apps, the Google apps. So click that link and uh, download it and it's download the version 10. So once you have both of those files downloaded, they will look like this. Let me open up downloads. Uh, they're going to look like this up at the top. You got uh, your beta CM9 as well as the Joker G apps version 10. So you got those options. I also do want to give a huge, huge shout out to uh, Joker's AX11. Big shout out to him. Um, he works very hard on the Photon, so please give him a thanks. Uh, so definitely huge shout out to him and anyone else involved in getting this ROM going. But anyways, once you have both those zip files downloaded, transfer them over to your device, either internal or external SD cards. Transfer those zip files on over to your Photon. And once transferred, you can go ahead and power off your device. Uh, make sure you back up any apps, etc., that you do have with Titanium Backup um, if you want to back up any apps or app data. But anyways, once this is powered off, we're going to need to go into our Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7. To do so, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time until Fastboot pops up at the screen. As you can see, it does. Now press the volume down button a few times, actually more than a few, until it says Android Recovery right there. So press it about, I don't know that was, six, seven times. And then press the volume up button to select it. So volume up selects Android Recovery. It will actually reboot you into your Clockwork Mod. So go ahead and let it reboot then. As you can see, rebooted right away into Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.7 right there. Anyways, now to install this ROM first, uh, I'm going to recommend making an Android backup. So go to uh, Backups and Restore, select it, and then make a backup. So make sure you do have an Android backup on your device. Uh, highly recommended you do that just in case anything goes wrong. But anyways, once you have an Android backup, go into Mounts and Storage. Actually, go to Mounts and Storage, and then go ahead and go down to Format System. So select Format System and hit Yes, Format. So go ahead and let it format your system then. I do recall on the Photon, uh, doing anything within Clockwork Mod does take a very long time. So just make sure you are patient uh, with the wiping and installing processes because it does take longer than any other device that, um, that I do have. So in case uh, you're coming from another device, make sure that you are patient with these uh, processes. Anyway, formatting system is done. Now go ahead and go down to Format Data. So go to Format Data, select it, and hit Yes, Format Data. So then go ahead and let it format your data. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through these uh, waiting parts. All right, as you can see, format uh, formatting data is done. So now what you're gonna need to do is go down to Format Cache. So then go ahead and select Format Cache and hit Yes, Format. So then it's going to go ahead and format your cache. So I'm going to let it do its thing. And now that that's done, we are almost ready to go. Go ahead and hit Go Back. And then go down to Wipe Data slash Factory Reset and press the power button to select. When it says Include SDEXT and Wipe, hit No. And then hit Yes, Delete All User Data. 
So then it's gonna go ahead and run through and just do a factory reset for us, which will take a little time, so be patient with it. Okay, and data wipe complete. The factory reset is done. Now we are ready to go. Go ahead and go to install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card or internal SD card, wherever your uh, zip file is at. And then go ahead and select the beta CM9 ROM and hit yes. So go ahead and let it install. Go ahead and install the ROM itself. It will take a little while, so be patient with the install process. Okay, and as you can see, install from SD card complete. The ROM install is done. Now go ahead and hit choose it from SD card or internal storage again and select the Joker G Apps version 10 and hit yes install. So it's gonna go ahead and install the Google Apps. It won't take as long as the ROM itself. Uh, the G App Zip is actually Google Apps such as Market, Gmail, Google Talk, all those good Google Apps. But go ahead and let those install. All right, now install from SD card complete. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go back and just reboot system now. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the phone and once it reboots, I'll be running the beta signage of my nine ice cream sandwich ROM on my Motorola Photon 4G. Very excited to try this out, but I will be doing a separate review video of this ROM going over things working, things not working. Uh, going over a few things as well within the ROM. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation though. And as you can see, just the uh, stock ice cream sandwich boot animation. But anyways, as I said, be sure to check out my separate review video. I'll link to that in the description. Uh, but anyways, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.